Brian here with Help Sell My RV.com out of Louisville, Kentucky, where all RVs are for sale by owner. I'm going to do a walk around on this beautiful, fully loaded 2013 Lance 1172 double slide slide in truck camper located here in North Vernon, Indiana. I'm going to go ahead and start on the inside and show you the floor plan and then finish up this video by showing you all the cool features on the outside. This is fully loaded and excellent mint condition. If a dealer took this in on trade, one through 10, 10 being the best as far as condition, any dealer I think would agree with me, this is definitely a 10. It's a showroom piece. Give you an idea of the floor plan here. And let my camera lighting adjust. Okay, this is a double slide, slide in truck camper. First slide out is out the rear and it's the sofa. This is a reclining sofa, dual uh, reclining sofa. And it does make out into a bed. Uh, slide out's about, uh, it's gonna be about six foot. I think it's about seven foot wide because the camper's a little bit more than eight foot wide. So uh, it's about seven foot wide slide out. And it's about uh, about two and a half foot deep. I'm gonna show you everything on this camper. Nice pull-out pantry. Lots of storage. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you everything. I always try to show all the lights. Got a little light in here in this other storage bin. All your fabrics are in excellent condition. Uh, it's like an ultra leather on the bottom here and then this is a fabric it's more of a silvers coppers and browns color you do have day night shades all throughout beautiful window treatments you do have recessed uh, puck lights more of a residential you don't have the uh, the big uh, pancake lights anymore another window day night shades here's your second slide out it's the booth dinette. Booth breaks down into a bed, sleeps too, grown adults easily. You do have, this was an option, you do have a bed that comes out. Pull this pin, pull this pin, and it's hinged. And it comes down and lays down on this. So you can sleep two adults here, and then I believe they're calling this one adult here up above. Uh, so. So definitely three in this booth, in this slide out area, and uh, definitely at least one grown adult here. And then of course the, the queen bed I'm gonna show you here in a second. All right, go to the kitchen. This is a fully loaded, full kitchen, full bath. Do you have the uh, oven? Three burner, gas cooktop. The front one's gonna be a high output. Do you have a microwave? Sometimes you'll just get the microwave and not the oven. So you have both op both options. You do have the fan with the light, vent hood. You do have a beautiful black backsplash here. Uh, and then you have like a little protector here, a little glass, or it's a plastic uh, protector for grease, splatter. Uh, this is solid surface countertops. Not the Fomica top. Mowing style sprayer faucet, pull out sprayer, nice double bowl sink. Here's your add a leaf extension here. Uh, your cabinets are, all your drawer fronts are all going to be solid wood. Uh, that might be a maple, might be a cherry finish. I'll have to check. Again, lots of storage. More storage down here. And another storage bin. Looks like, yep, utensils. Okay. And more here. You do have uh, plug ins, 110 receptacle here, one here, all over the place. Right there. Do you want to point out why I'm in the living room? You do have a nice skylight here, and you can shut it off for privacy. 
This is equipped with 11,500 BTU Coleman AC unit. I just had it running. Actually, go ahead and start this generator up. Generator only has 23 hours on it. It is an Onan 2500 LP generator. Get this AC on. Here's your thermostat control for your furnace. Show you here in a second with my uh, thermo uh, meter. It's a laser, you know, pointed at the. Let's see what it reads right now. It reads 76. It's 82. So give it a second. I just keep it on. Just bought my thermo meter for $15 on eBay. Pretty cool. Okay. Uh, before going to bedroom, we've got a. I believe they're calling this a five cubic foot refrigerator by Norcold. It's a, a two-way gas and electric. Uh, definitely a nice feature in a slide-in truck camper. Oh, and this slide out here, the second slide out, I would say is probably about uh, eight foot long and it's about two and a half foot deep. All right, up in the master bedroom here, you have a queen bed and uh, uh, I believe uh, uh, Lance is known for having queen beds that actually fit residential style sheets, so that's nice. But definitely a uh, nice queen bed here, nice lights. You have a closet here. There's your furnace ducting right there. There's your little switch there for your automatic uh, satellite. Just flip the switch on and it'll automatically search for a signal as long as you've got the cable provider, or I'm sorry, satellite provider. You do have the dome on top, which I'll show you. Got a little locker cabinet here for, for clothes, odds and ends. And I'll go ahead and show you. Nice little storage area. Nice uh, 110 receptacle there. Uh, you do have a uh, charging port up here, and a 110 receptacle. That's your cable and satellite hookup. And you can put your TV. Uh, if you wanted another one, I guess you could put one here, but I'll show you the TV that's in the hallway. You do have a skylight here. The skylight opens up. It's a dual pane skylight that opens up for cross ventilation. But uh, you do have like a little bug screen here. Kind of give you, it's a bug screen. So pretty cool. And more storage. You have storage over here. And day night shades, more storage up there. Your stereo is a Jensen MP3 HDMI hookups. And this is iPod ready, so you can hook up a smartphone device. Pretty cool. Kind of give you an idea of the floor plan before I get off the bed. There's a TV there, so I think it's a 22 inch. Pop down and take a look at that. Oh, linoleum all throughout the high traffic area. The floor is uh, the length is 11 feet 11 inches, and the overall length of this is uh, just over 20 foot. Get my thermometer here before I show you the bathroom. Okay, thermometer reader is reading 75 degrees. It'll get colder earlier, it was 68 degrees. Okay. And you're, you do have ducted heat all throughout. Your bathroom here, full bath. Nice storage, more storage. Nice shower for seating if you want to shave your legs. Nice skylight there, and uh, this curtain rod bends out when you're in when you're using it. it just bends out like this, and. When you're not using it, you just stow it away like that. Pretty cool. And there's your Jensen. Uh, that's probably going to be a 13 inch flat screen. Don't quote me on it. But you can pivot it. Either way, if you're sitting on the couch, you have full access. It's got an arm that comes all the way out. And if you're laying in bed, you can bring it all the way out and point it towards the bed. Oh, I do want to point out, I'm going to point out outside. Here's your remote for your leveling jacks. Uh, you can uh, 
do each jack individually or you can just do them all at the same time. Pretty cool. I'll show you the jacks outside, the power jacks to get it off the truck. Turn this generator off before I go outside. And we're only hooked up to 110, so let's turn off that AC. Okay, I'm going to show you your control panel here before I go outside. Uh, here's your water heater. It's gas electric, direct spark ignition, six gallon. Just flip a switch on and uh, 15 minutes, a half hour later, you're ready to go. But it, it does run off of gas and electric. Uh, and then your water pump here. It's easy to figure out. Your battery, fully charged. Fresh water tank, uh, empty. I'm not sure the sizes of the, the tanks, but your black tank is your toilet tank. That's empty. Gray tank is your... Uh, sink and shower water and it's empty easy to figure out and again 2500 LP on and generator with only 23 hours on it I think I pointed out everything in here oh fantastic vent fan got to point that out you got to have one of those okay there's another uh, furnace exhaust for heating Okay, on the outside, this is fully loaded, as I said a few times before, but this is a, uh, this does have the Four Seasons winter insulation package. Show you that sticker right here, Four Seasons. So you can go into cold seasons and not worry about your holding tanks. All your holding tanks are enclosed and heated. And the way that they've done the ducting work, uh, all your water lines and everything are all safe from cold weather. All right, can I give you an idea back up here? Show you the overall length. Okay, on your awning, 10-foot awning. It's a manual awning, excellent condition. Your furnace, exhaust right here. Uh, I believe they're calling this a they're calling this a 15,000 BTU unit, and then they're also calling it a 22,000. So, it, evidently, it adjusts. So, which is pretty cool, I guess, for economy. Two large LP tanks to supply your LP generator, outside marine style speakers, there's your potable water or your fresh water tank, 110 hookup, easy to figure out, uh, water pump here, easy to access in case if you ever have any problem, easy to access and when you're winterizing here's your uh, here's your bypass valve for winterizing, so you that, real easy to winterize, can't get any easier, so pretty cool. You do have exterior uh, scare lights on front and back side, which I'll show you on the back side for servicing or when you're sitting out on a patio side, it's uh, convenient. And uh, I do want to point out it is a Four Seasons insulation package and you do have dual pane windows. And the tent on these, I believe, are 80% tent. Here's your six gallon gas electric direct spark ignition water heater. Flip the switch on inside uh, if you're on gas or electric and 15 minutes to a half hour later, you're ready to rock and roll. Okay, your power jacks. Full four way uh, four leg power jacks. Uh, the remote that I showed you inside, pretty easy to figure out, and you can operate each jack individually if you want by remote, or you can do them all four at the same time. And these pivot out here to clear your dualies, so pretty cool. Oh, I do want to point out try to point these out on these lances. Uh, they've got a little rain gutter here so that when it's raining, water is just not rushing into your bed of your truck. Got rain gutters and it runs down the side. Pretty nice feature. Oh, and I do want to point out on the on the construction, it is a full aluminum frame construction. Uh, there is no wood integrated into the framing, and the fiberglass is a, they're calling it a high gloss, but it looks to me like a gel coat. So uh, uh, definitely, it's a definitely a, a high gloss finish. All your decals are in excellent condition. Kind of give you an idea of the front side here. You do have a beautiful front molded fiberglass cap and it does have LED lights all the way around inside and out. I do want to point out it does have LEDs on the inside so it's going to save you on your battery. Pretty cool. Uh, your front molded fiberglass cap here is pretty much going to eliminate any chance of leaks in the front and plus it's easier to clean. All right let's go around to the back side here. This sliding camper is the flagship floor plan from Lance for a one-ton pickup. So th this is this is made for a one-ton. Uh, definitely a heck of a sliding camper here. Uh, it is, as I said, in excellent condition. All decals are excellent condition. I do. Oh, point out. 
It does have the automatic uh, satellite that I was pointing out inside. There's your dome up top, right there. And here's your slide out on the back side. You do have the slide out awning package. Pretty cool. This is access to your refrigerator. Uh, here's, oh, your storage. I forgot to point that out. Up underneath the boot dinette, you've got huge storage. Uh, there's one of your storage up underneath one of the seating areas by the booth. And here's the other one. There we go. And you've got, the, this is a pull-out drawer here. And so this thing's all the way through, but you've got a drawer that pulls out for convenience. Show you up underneath here. Okay, uh, here's your water hookups. Okay, this is where you, uh, uh, if you want to dump your tanks, your um, uh, wastewater uh, and your gray water, uh, your gate valves or dump valves are all right here and they are protected from the elements. There is your radiant heat from your ductwork from your furnace and it's all right here by your gate valve so you don't have to worry about your gate valves freezing up. Uh, here's for cable and satellite hookups. Oh, here's your battery disconnect, save you on your battery when you're not using the camper. Uh, these are your low point drain valves uh, for winterizing. You just uh, turn these, open up your drain valves, and uh, they drain. And there they, the little hose right there, but they're all uh, in, in the heated compartment area, so you don't have to worry about your drain, low point drain valves leaking and cracking during cold weather. Outside shower, hot and cold running water with sprayer, easy to figure out. This is where your sewer hose goes. Here's your collapsible ladder to get up on your full walk-on roof. In case you want to service your 11,500 BTU AC unit. And there's your electric jacks. Again, all your LEDs are uh, inside and out, or uh, all your lights, I'm sorry, are LED. Here's your generator with, uh, I believe I said 23 hours on it. And uh, it's Cummins uh, 2500 LP. I do want to show you this part huge storage usually you'll find the battery compartment back here and you pretty much uh, lost uh, op option for storage but uh, the dual batteries this has dual batteries and they're inside just uh, right underneath the entry step but you got a huge storage exterior storage on this okay and just show you this um, with the generators on some of the old campers the sliding campers when you ran the generator while you're a boondocking you had to plug in your power cord uh, to the generator you don't have to do that anymore this is an automatic transfer right here and it's definitely convenient oh I do want to point out, it does have a really cool uh, uh, security system on this. This is a backup camera, and you've got a monitor that you can put inside your truck, and then at night when you're camping, you can bring that monitor inside, and if somebody's, you hear something out back, uh, you've got a camera here, and you can look at the monitor and see what's going on. And you do have the uh, floodlights or docking lights on the rear, too, and of course your slide-out awning package on the rear slide-out. Okay. I think I got everything. If I didn't, I do apologize. Beautiful sliding camper. If you're looking for a clean one, this is definitely one. Uh, just call the number on the ad if you want to come and see the camper. You deal directly with the owner. And if you want to keep uh, track of any RVs coming for sale in the Louisville, Kentucky area, you can always follow HelpSellMyRV.com on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and YouTube. And if you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. Thanks.